This joke is just, I don't know. I just feel so deflated to play in this club at the moment. So, Paul Lambert, my message to you is... This one is slightly different. If you're an Ipswich Town fan, you will know that currently things aren't fantastic at the club at the moment. There are a couple of reasons for this. We are going to be speaking about them points in the video today. Before we do get into this video, a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel as we are on the road to 14,000 subscribers and we're trying to hit that before Christmas. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be tough. And yeah, remember to turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video. Yeah. Also, I've had a trim, finally, way. Right, this video, as you'll have seen by the title, um, yes, I've got a few things to talk about, a few things to get off my chest, as a lot of other Ipswich Town fans have as well. Now, if you don't know, Ipswich Town, at the moment, <laughs> there's a lot going on. A lot of people are calling for Paul Lambert's head, Marcus Evans obviously released a statement yesterday evening and uh, yeah, there's a lot to talk about in this video. Now, as I said at the start of the video, there are a few reasons why there are so many issues around Ipswich Town Football Club at the moment. Now, number one, performances have been below par for a number of weeks now. And still, at the end of every game, Lambert thinks it's all right to go. Yeah, great game, great yeah, game, the life tried out, the yeah. life tried out. It's not on. This has led to so many questions over the management of the club. And the Ipswich Town fans are absolutely restless. Tweets galore. All I'm seeing on Twitter is tweets about Ipswich Town at the moment. And so right, the fans are speaking up. So what we are going to do now is we're going to look at some tweets on Twitter. So this one is from Kieran. He's put mad that Marcus Evans has sacked Magilton. He over budgeted with Keane and Paul Jewell. Under budgeted with Mick McCarthy on multiple occasions. He replaced Mick McCarthy with Paul Hurst, sold half of our championship squad and didn't even reinvest. And then he awarded Paul Lambert a five-year deal following relegation season. Yeah. Oh dear. This one's from Harry. He, he's actually trying to put a protest up for the Portsmouth home game. Saturday the 12th of December, Portsmouth at home protest against the running of our football club. That's quite mad. If that happens, I think there could be a lot of people attend that, so yeah. Nathan put, it's time to go. And he's, uh, yeah, he's put like the little meme of Lambert. Yeah, that, that's quite funny, isn't it? You know, Lambert going into Job Center Plus. Next one is from Richard saying, that statement tonight from Evans spits in the face of every town fan. Action needs to be taken by our great fans. Don't part with this anymore. Unite as one. There we go. Stuart Watson then has also said, this is essentially the owner telling ITFC supporters you forced me to let Mick McCarthy go and look where that's got us. Now that's a very good point from Stuart Watson. Uh, I'm going to put more tweets up on the screen. <laughs> There's literally so many tweets going up at the moment. I'm pretty sure last weekend ITFC hashtag was trending on Twitter. But yeah, anyway, there, there are so many tweets. Go and look at them on Twitter. Yeah, I think what we should do now, get Marcus Evans' statement up on the screen. So basically, I'm not going to go through the whole statement, but Evans basically just said that he's not going to be swayed into the same mistakes. And um, he basically said it was the fans' fault for saying, be careful what you wish for. And obviously, we were the problem that McCarthy left. And he's saying that we were the reason that McCarthy got sacked. I don't, you know, do you know what I mean? The statement's very, very complex. It's a long statement. So yeah, there you go. That is the statement that Marcus Evans made. And it has rattled a lot of Ipswich fans and so right it would because the things he said in that statement was out of order. Anyway, I think it's time to make my message for Paul Lambert. So, Paul Lambert, my message to you is you really need to look in a mirror, Paul, and just decide whether this is the right place for you at the moment. I think Ipswich fans don't have to give it a second thought. Something seriously needs to change. I understand we have a lot of injuries, but it's something the club should have been prepared for. And as a footnote to that, I am going to bring Marcus Evans into this now. Like him or dislike him, the comments he made on the fans 
earlier in this week for being unhelpful, uncalled for, unnecessary. At a time when the club is struggling and the chips are down, a statement like this is only going to hinder progress. And this is not the sort of thing that will put the club back on its feet. So Paul Lambert, that is my message to you. Something seriously needs to change. Now, I don't want to be negative, I hate being negative, and I hate it when it gets toxic because I absolutely love this club. I, I wouldn't change supporting Ipswich for the world. I absolutely love this club. I travel up and down the country following Ipswich Town, and I absolutely love it, okay? But seeing the club get in this situation again, it hurts. It really, really hurts. I really hope the good days will be back. Anyway, that is enough from me because it is getting pretty deep and, um, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's an emotional topic at the moment around Ipswich. And a lot of town fans are absolutely gutted at the moment with what's going on. But yeah, I decided to end this video, I would ask some other Ipswich Town fans and some other football fans that are familiar with Paul Lambert to give me their views, to give me their thoughts. Um, and yeah, uh, so here is a number of football fans giving their thoughts on Paul Lambert. Hello Alex, Griffin and all the Ipswich fans watching. Now Paul Lambert, it's not going great for you lot down at Portman Road. Admittedly I haven't watched any Ipswich games this season but I know it started off okay and then it's gone a bit wrong recently like you're really really struggling and all the blame looks to be on Paul Lambert. Now obviously he was at Villa um, start of this decade, I can't remember exactly, I think it was 2012 to 2015-ish and he got a few results at Villa but I just think he he did frustrate the Villa fans in the end and, and uh, you know the majority of the fan base did turn on him and it wasn't a pleasant time at Villa so I, c I can kind of relate to Ipswich and where they are at the moment I know admittedly that was in the Premier League when we were struggling um, for a long time in the Premier League and eventually it did result in us getting relegated and look you lot massive club biggest club in League One in my opinion you shouldn't be struggling I know you did last year and you bottled it but you, sh you should be fighting your way to get into the Championship with like no issues you know, for a club the size that you are and the manager like Paul Lambert, you'd expect him to do well there, but not going great. Should they sack him? I'm, I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm always in favour of, you know, clubs sticking by their managers, but for me, stick by him, give him to the rest of the season. And uh, if, if, if it doesn't go well and you're not at least in the playoffs, I think you've got to look for a change. But uh, hope it goes well for you lot this season. Big fan of Ipswich, as you know, always better than Norwich. And uh, good luck this season, guys, uh, of the town. Ah, uh, Alex, Alex. Alex, um, do you want me to be totally honest with you? I haven't even read Marcus Evans' um, statement. Um, it came out and I got lots of um, messages about it and the guys over at the Blue Monday podcast summarised summarised it for me and I kind of thought, I, I'm not really going to get a lot out of reading this. We knew that the vote of confidence was going to come. The vote of confidence always comes. Is There's never normally just a, a straight firing without um, without an owner at first giving the backing to what is now seemingly overwhelmingly a, a failing manager. Um, look, of course I want Paul Lambert to do well. Um, I was happy when, when we got him. I, I wasn't sure we could get anybody who was sort of higher calibre at the time in terms of what they'd achieved in their past. There's plenty of evidence now that's stacked up to say that um, he's just not done a very good job thus far. Um, and um, I can hack somebody doing a bad job um, if there's some evidence that they're working towards long-term it changing and there's some evidence of that actually happening. But at the moment, um, I've gone from giving him the benefit of the doubt to I just don't really see how this now changes into a good football team um, playing well and winning and um, a long-term plan integrating youngsters and building something that could even be remotely competitive if, if he were even to get promoted so um, look I want to enjoy following football and enjoy following my football team but it does still just seem a very depressing time and um, it doesn't seem that long ago where we had uh, entrenched manager falling out with the fans, an entrenched fan base, neither of them gonna gonna come back closer together. Um, and it's just depressing, isn't it? Hi everyone, it's the Cruncher here, uh, with my thoughts on Paul Lambert and uh, what's going on at our club at the minute. Lambert should have gone in March, um, saved by the pandemic. He should go now. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he will. 
I think he's going to hang on till the end of the season and uh, it's going to be a clean break then and a total reset. Uh, as for the statement from Marcus Evans last night, uh, for me, that spits in um, every ITFC fan's face, you know, with the careful what you wish for. Uh, it wasn't the fans who sacked Mick, it was you, Marcus. You put Paul Hurst in charge, you put Paul Lambert in charge, Roy Keane, Paul Jewell. That something needs to be done whether that's change in management or whether that's an investment from the owner, which, let's be honest, I'm more likely to get on a magical carpet and fly away into the sky than that happening. But um, <laughs> the squad changes week in, week out. There's no consistency, and that's very important within a football club. We're celebrating 0-0 draws against Oxford when, realistically, we should be smashing teams like that. We should be back. You know, we, we should be top of the league, winning most games, but we're not. Um, I was, like I say, there needs to be a change. I'd like to see someone like Eddie Howe come into the role that's really going to take the role, you know, take the reins, make the role his own and bring a new sense of ambition and passion into the club. Um, so, yeah. Hi everyone, I just want to put my points across uh, Mark Evans' statement yesterday. Can't say I'm not surprised really what he said because, again, he's not underlying the main issues of the football club as usual and he just seems to get himself out there by saying, you know, the academy's doing all right, which we all know about. But then the underlying issues are, you know, the team itself going forward and also the players in the team. You know, all, most of these players in this team should be capable of, you know, playing the best football they can in this league. But the management itself is completely bleak. There's no ideas, there's no tactical um, understanding, I'd feel, as well. I think, he may, I think the manager may have lost the dressing room on that note as well. But going back to what Evans is sort of doing... He's not really sort of covering it all, really. I think, uh, in all fairness, you know, he's trying to make it to be as if it's not really that bad of a situation to be in when it actually is. You know, us fans have seen this club decline quicker than anything, really, and uh, it's not fair on us to have to put, be put through something like this. It's just really terrible to watch at the moment, and I mean, you know, it's not, it's not really going to encourage about two thousand or three thousand fans to go and watch the game if it's the football is going to be like that. You know, I think a lot of people will be probably probably wanting to boycott games as well at this point, you know, if they're going to show reaction to what's going on. But um, another thing also is that um, the manager itself, you know, he's said everything this week to Brennan Willey. He's defended his position like anything. But I think uh, as far as I see it, you know, is um, he seems clueless to me as to how us fans feel. And I think that's the most important fa factor of all of this. Hello, Alex. It's Harvey here. Um, in regards to Mark Seven's statement, um it's a big slap in the face to the fans. It's appalling, really. Um, the fact that we're back in, or should I say, he's back in uh, Paul Lambert in itself is a uh, disrespect to us, disrespect to the club. Um, we need change now before things really go to shit and it gets worse. Uh, something's got to change at the club. It's the only positive thing is that the fans seem to be getting, uh, well, most fans seem to be getting behind each other with this. Um, if we can keep continue up with the sport and uh, try and get rid of both of them, really, the ideal. Um, that'd be brilliant, and hopefully soon we will have our club back. So there you go, then that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for all the support, boys and girls. I do massively appreciate it. We are on the road to 14,000 subscribers, like I have said. Please go down there and smash that red subscribe button. Smash this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.